Hi programmers, in this episode of the Code Minutes, we are going to understand what do you mean by blockchain just in 3 to 4 minutes. Well, I have written some code in the TypeScript, it is a just for understanding. If you see, I have written one class called as blockchain and I have written one class called as block. Now, technically, when you talk about the blockchain, it is nothing but the array of the blocks. If you can see here in the constructor, I have defined array of the blocks. Now you'll ask me one question. What do you mean by block? So block is nothing but something which is having one index. Well, just for explaining purpose, I have taken index outside, but in the real time blockchains index wouldn't be like this index would be auto generated. Then the timestamp, what do you mean by timestamp timestamp means when that block has been created, that is nothing but the timestamp is then data. So data can be one block can hold the data of any type in this case, but you can restrict it to the particular type as per the real world application that you are going to implement. Well, then hash means every block, what you can say, every block would be having its own hash and that is going to differ from the different or another block. Now, when you talk about the block, block is having index, timestamp, data, hash, and the very important thing is nothing but what you can say previous hash means every block is knowing its previous block. So it is a pointing to its previous block. That is nothing but the previous hash. Now here in the constructor, I have created the hash is equals to this make hash function, right? So make hash function is nothing but we have created SHA-256 key over here and that you have just assigned to the hash means whenever you are going to create a block, that block would be getting created by means of one generated hash that is nothing but that function well now what about the blockchain then so this is about the one individual block so individual block is nothing but this thing now when you talk about the blockchain what is a blockchain blockchain as we discussed array of the block so every block blockchain has the first block and that first block is called as genesis block or uh, so that first block would never have what you can say previous hash technically because that is that won't be having anything some data you have some index you have something like this right so blockchain would be something like this then your blockchain is expected to have one function called as latest block means which is the latest block that has been added in your blockchain that you can get it by means of this function well you need to have a provision of adding new block now how do you add the new block First thing, whatever block you are going to create over here, new block, right? You are going to get, well, this is of type, of course, block. You can say it is of type what block. And then you can say new block dot instead of calculate hash, you can have make hash function over here, new block dot make hash, right? So when you create a new block, it should point to its previous, what you can say, get latest block will you will give you the last block in the element and that hash nothing but the previous hash then you can say new hash you are going to create the new hash over here right and then you are going to push your newly generated block onto the chain which is nothing but this chain means you created new new block and you clasped it with the earlier hash well you should have a one function now this function might be complex in the real time blockchains which is nothing but this dot chain dot for each you would be getting for every every single block you are going to check that block is valid or invalid by means of this current block current block dot hash is not equals to what you can say current dot make hash you are going to return the false of course here current block dot previous hash is not equals to the previous hash of course you are going to return the false otherwise you would be returning what you can say true well this is the sample example just for understanding of the blockchain. Do not forget to watch my next video on the real time implementation of the blockchain using variety of the frameworks. Thanks for watching.